Alrighty guys, welcome to another art tutorial and also um, I want to mention that I just switched my headphone It's the same brand and the same type of headphone But I had the old one since I like started making videos and I just got a new one because the old one was like It was start to like creak whenever I moved my head and it was just like the cord was like coming apart So tell me guys if this is any better quality. Hopefully it is but uh, anyways in this video we're finally going to start learning how to make charts and some sweet graphs gonna be awesome so the first thing that we need is of course some data to actually graph and I'm just gonna be using this data from you know it's like from Bucky's room fake data that I just made up basically so if you want to download this of course the link is right below this video click that download it and you can actually use any data frame but like I said I'm gonna be using this one and I'm just gonna call it B data for Bucky's data and in order to load that in use the read.csv function in the parameters the first parameter is the name of the file br users that csv file the second parameter is true and that is because it's basically saying is this first row the name of the columns well yes it is so i'm going to put true and the third parameter said how is your data separated well it's a comma separated value data chart or whatever you want to call it file and they're separated with commas. Any CSV file, you're always going to put a comma right there. So the next thing that I want to do real quick is actually just read the head of this and make sure that we loaded it properly. And yes, it does. So now that we have a data frame, what we can do is we can start making, basically converting this data and viewing it visually in charts. So the first chart I'm going to show you guys is a histogram. In a histogram, if you don't know what it is, it's kind of like a bar chart, but it graphs in intervals. And actually, what I should probably do is just graph it and then show you guys, because, you know, that's a point of a graph, so you can visualize data. Durr. So uh, let me just go ahead and make this real quick. So the key that, or excuse me, the name to make a function, what the F am I talking about? The name of this function that you use to make a histogram is hist, and... Wow, I kind of was like having a brain fart there. And the first parameter it takes is basically saying, okay, what column do you want to use in your histogram? So let's just use this. Actually, let's use age right here. So what we want to do is we want to see the ranges, ranges of ages that people are using on Bucky's room. So how old are the members of Bucky's room? So, of course, what we need to do is we write B data. And in order to access that column, use the dollar sign and press age. So what this is going to do is it's going to graph the ages. Now, the rest of the three parameters are actually really easy. The main one is basically saying, what do you want the title of your chart to be? And I just named this ages of users on Bucky's room. Now, the next parameters are just the Y and the X ones. So the Y axis, which is Y lab, we can name this users. And the X lab, which is the X axis title, we can just go ahead and name this ages. And guys, that's it. Basically what we're saying is we made a histogram and let me go ahead and run this real quick. As you can see right here, and basically we're using the ages parameter which is down here and the title of it is this ages of users on bookies room and these are just the names of the y and the x axis so as you can see it looks very similar to a bar graph and what this is basically saying is how many users are on bucky's room between the ages of 10 and 20 well there are 20 users in that age range what about how many users on bucky's room are between the ages of 30 and 40 not that many, only 12 or so. So as you can see, instead of having a bar graph where you need every single age, 10, 11, 12, 13, and a bar for each, this takes it and graphs it in intervals. Pretty freaking sweet, and it's a lot more, you know, better than looking at a bar graph with, you know, like 60 different ages on it. So that is how you make a histogram. And what other one can I show you guys real quick? Let's say that we wanted to uh, make a scatter plot. I'll show you guys how to do that. So delete this. And if you guys don't know what a scatter plot is, 
A scatter plot is really good whenever you have two variables and you want to see if there's a correlation between the two. So what kind of things can we do? Let's say that uh, we wanted to graph the correlation between age and income. So, you know, we have a theory that the older you are, the more money you make. But my girlfriend was saying that the younger people make more money because, I don't know, because she's an idiot. So, actually, she's uh, kind of smart. But let's go ahead and graph this theory to see who's right. So, in order to make a scatter plot, just go ahead and type plot. And, of course, instead of just having one variable, like a histogram, we need two variables. So, we can uh, test them against each other. So the first thing that we said, what were you going to say? Age and income. So B data age. And let me copy this due to laziness. And we're going to compare it against income. Now, the only other thing is the Y lab is age. Or say, yeah, just say age, F it. And the X lab is income. Now, if we go ahead and graph this, check it out. We see that there is indeed a correlation between age and income. Basically, what this is saying is, and I graph this backwards, income and age. Let me run this. And basically, what this is saying is, the each of these bubbles is a user. So, for example, this bubble is at the age of 14, and they have an income of, I don't even know what it is, it's pretty low. Let's, let's go ahead and think of an easier one. Uh, this user right here, he's about 68, and he has an income of about $70,000. So as we can see, this income, which is in dollar amount, is correlated to age. And essentially what this graph is saying is the older people are, the more income they have, or the more money they make. So it turns out I was right. I'm going to go ahead and tell her, booyah, what up, what up. So uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and I want to show you guys how to graph one more thing since we have some time. And that is a box plot. Now, you're going to see this a lot, although personally, I don't really like them. What a box plot is, well, it'll be easier if I just show you guys. So in order to make this, type the word box plot that's the name of the function and it only takes one single parameter so say that we were looking at the ages of people on Bucky's room well what we can do is we can run this and we see we get a weird looking chart like this so what does this mean this is of course the ages we have users from 10 to 70 years old and this middle line right here this is the median in this box, I don't know if you guys are familiar with statistics or ever, if you ever took a class in, you know, statistics or anyone, anything with quartiles, but this box pretty much outlines your quartiles. This bottom one is the first quartile, and the top one is your third quartile, and the lines are just the ranges of high and low. So basically it's saying the youngest member is 10, the highest member is 69 or 68, and the median age of users on Bucky's room is about 41. So that's what this box plot means. And uh, again, you're going to see this a lot, but I really don't like it because, you know, if I'm going to look at a stupid box, I might as well just look at the data itself. I want a chart with colors and freaking bubbles and stuff like that. So uh, we're going to be learning how to make some cool charts and graphs like that later on. And I'm also be showing you guys how to make different theme charts, different colors, um, and it's going to be freaking awesome. So this was your core basic introduction, how to make a very basic chart and graph. Again, tell me how the sound was on my microphone. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.